AQA, A level physics, astrophysics, quasars. Uh, this is the specification. Basically, there's a bunch of stuff you need to know about quasars. What is a quasar and some stuff about them? So in the 1950s, uh, some objects were discovered um, and with optical telescopes, you couldn't see very much at all, just like a very, very faint star. But these very, very faint stars emitted massive amounts of X-rays and radio waves and non-visible stuff. So very, very confusing, okay? These quasi-stellar objects, okay? Tiny, tiny, little, they thought possibly stars, but emitting massive amounts of other stuff. And they were the first quasars discovered. Okay, what is a quasar? Well, now we know it's a, an AGN, it's an active galactic nucleus. It's the, it's the middle of a galaxy, okay, which is very, very active. And what's happening is that stuff is being pulled towards a supermassive black hole. So at the center of the galaxy, there's a huge massive black hole and stuff is swirling around it like a whirlpool uh, and getting sucked into it. And this disk of stuff swirling around is called the accretion disk. And as this stuff swirls around, there's massive amounts of friction and it gets very, very, very hot. Uh, and it produces all of this radiation, all of these X-rays and radio waves and loads of other stuff as well. So stuff swirls around a black hole in an accretion disk and friction in the disk produces massive amounts of radiation, which leaves as two jets. Now, when I'm saying massive amounts of radiation, in terms of the energy emitted, uh, a single quasar may emit thousands of times more energy than the Milky Way. Remember that, okay? Thousands of times more energy than the whole Milky Way. One interesting thing, if, if it runs out of material for a bit, then the, the jets might stop. It was believed that perhaps the, the, the Milky Way at some point in the past was producing these jets uh, because it has a supermassive black hole in the middle, and maybe in the future it will, if it starts to suck material in again. So maybe a little sketch, if you got like a little six mark question on this, do a little label sketch of the accretion disk and the jets of radiation coming out each way from the accretion disk. A uh, bit more about them. Quasars occur in very young galaxies. Uh, when I say very young galaxies, I'm saying galaxies that formed around the beginning of the universe, and they are now some of the oldest objects in the universe. Because we see them and we know that they are very, very, very far away because they have very large redshifts. Okay, huge redshifts. So when we look further and further, we are looking back in time. And these objects are some of the furthest and oldest objects that we can see. So they basically were around, I mean, they're still around possibly now, but they'd be very, very old. But what we see is them very far away at around the beginning of the universe. They show very, very large redshifts. We receive very little light from them because nearly all of the light has been redshifted, okay, into bigger wavelengths. So we get very, very little light from them. We get lots of these other rays. Uh, and that's, a, that's an X-ray image of a, a quasar, which is 10 billion light years away. Now, remember that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, okay? This is 10 billion light years away. And we can see this jet of, of it's a false color image, but this jet of X-rays coming from this active galactic nucleus, the quasar.